Hi guys, it's Katie. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the basket weave rainbow loom bracelet. So they just look like this. I think they're really cool looking. This one I did rainbow and black and then this one I just kind of did like a random pattern. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these. And again, I'm just going to be using one loom to make these. Okay guys, so you're going to start with your loom. It's going to, you're going to want it staggered like this. And you're going to want to start with the arrow pointing upwards, so away from you. What we're going to do is we're going to take our first rubber band. We're going to start on this center peg, and we're going to go upwards to this peg. As you can see, it looks like this. And then you're just going to want to take your next color, or the same color if you want, and we're going to put it from there to there. And we're going to create this V. Then you're just going to want to grab your second color. And you're going to go from this peg up here down to here. And just push that down. And then you're going to take your next rubber band and go from here to here. So you're just creating like an upside down V. And then we're just going to continue this pattern all the way up the loom. Alright guys, so now once you've completely filled your loom, it's going to look like this. You're going to want to turn your loom upside down so that the arrow is now facing you. And we're going to start hooking this. You're just going to pick a random color that doesn't have anything to do with your bracelet. And what we're going to do, these are the last, on the last three pegs, we're just going to place it in a triangle along these three pegs like so and now we're going to start hooking and now to begin hooking this you're going to want to start on the left side so we're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to reach behind this band that you have right here you're going to go under grab the band that is on top of this one and you're just going to take this band back to its origin go to the other side go underneath that capping band lift up the bottom band and bring it back to its origin and then again you're just gonna look like this when you're finished gonna want to go and grab that top band you're just gonna grab or grab that top band Bring it up and over to its origin. And it's going to look like this. Ugh. Hold on. These bands are a little tricky. You kind of just got to um, keep them where they are. They're going to be a little loose. Just push them down. And then we're going to hook this one to this one. Don't worry if those keep falling down. We'll fix them in a minute. And now we're going to grab the bands that are in the center. So you're going to want to go under the blue capping band. Grab that top purple band or whatever color you got. And you're just going to take it and bring it back to its origin. Now you're going to go underneath this capping blue band, mine's blue, you're going to grab the bottom purple band and you're just going to lift it up and put it back to where it came from. Looks like this, as you can see, and we're just going to continue this pattern. You are just going to want to go from um, left to right. We're just going to, you go from this one, bring it back to its origin, then you go back over here just go left, right, and then in the center. Okay, so once you guys have finished looping, it's going to look like this. With this, what we're going to want to do now 
on the top you can see that there are this these four pegs right here in this diamond these are all loose ends so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to um take these off and transfer them back onto the loom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these inside of each of the loops now before you take these off it's gonna look weird but before you take these off we're just gonna go down to the bottom and you're just gonna want to start unhooking this by the sides of the bands just go to the sides and take off all the bands except for those last few that you stuck the hooks in okay so now you're just gonna have the center and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off with the hooks so just go underneath this top one right here off with your hook. Keep it on the hook as best as you can. Like so. And then we're gonna just pull off the rest of these as well. So just pull that one off. And then pull this one off. And then the one that's buried. And this one that's buried in the center, you're just going to pull off those bands and keep it in the center, hopefully. Just going to pull off those bands. So now all the bands should be on these sticks. Then you're just going to grab all the sticks and you're just going to carefully remove. Ooh. Remove this bracelet from your loom. So um you're gonna have all these things just holding the ends together and you're gonna have a bracelet that looks like this. You're just gonna wanna pull it a little just to straighten it out. And um you're gonna have this cabin band at the end, but we'll deal with that later. So now what we have to do is um so now what you guys have to do is we have to flip this back around and re-loom it. Just re-banding the loom. We're going to flip it upside down again and now we're going to transfer this back onto this. So hopefully I can show you this properly. On these two red sticks I have the two sides. So those are going to be transferred here and here. And then on the orange stick I have one that's going to be transferred here. And then on the rainbow loom stick, one's gonna be, it's gonna be transferred here. So we're just gonna start transferring this onto the loom like so. Erg. It's very difficult, but you can do it, I'm sure. I know it's probably really hard for you guys to see right now and I'm sorry I just don't have the best camera angle I don't have my tripod right now so this stinks a little but we're gonna we're gonna try hopefully you at least get the gist of it you're just gonna wanna you really need to try to keep these all on the hook Okay, so did that and hug. You can use your fingers to help, like, get this. opened so you can actually put it on the loom. Uh, 
good. There you go. So we just have, it's going to look like this. As you can see, I transferred those on there, those on there. And then we just got to transfer this last one onto this peg right here. So we're just going to try and do that. Okay, so you're going to have something that looks like this better. So now we're just going to hook this like we did last time. Alright, so now once you've reached the top of your loom, it'll look like this. And then we're just going to unhook the sides again. Okay, so now once you've finished hooking, it's going to look like this, and your bracelet is now complete. All we have to do is take it off the loom. So you're just going to want to start by unhooking the sides, except for the last couple. Don't unhook those yet. Okay, so now once you have this done, it's going to look like this, and... Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go under this peg, grab all the rubber bands on that peg, every single one of them, and we're just going to pull those, and we're going to gently pull these and bring them onto this peg up here. It's kind of hard because they're all kind of weird, but you're going to just lift it and put it onto that peg. They're very tight, so be very, very careful. You do not want this snapping now. <laughs> okay, so it's going to look like that. And then you're just going to take these two side bands and stick them onto the same peg. <laughs> Okay, so now all your bands are going to be on this peg right here. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to grab two rubber bands. I'm using the white, and you're just going to double them up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath this giant thing of, thi of uh, bands. And you're just going to stick the two bands onto your hook like so. Hold those and just kind of... Pull it, pull them back up through, and just stick your hook through those two bands, like so. And now you're just going to pull these off of the loom carefully. Okay. And then you can just stretch that out, and then you're going, ooh, you're going to have this completed bracelet. And now what you're going to want to do with this end, we're going to clip it. Okay, so on this, now you should have these two bands like so. What you're going to do is we're just going to create a slip knot. So you're going to want to pull these two underneath that one and pull it tightly. So then it's bound off like this. And now we're going to do the same thing to this this end. So first things first, you need to stick your hook through all of these. Okay, so now once you've done that, you're going to take, once you've stuck your rubber band through here, you're just going to take this blue band that you had and you're just going to cut it right off. Pull that out, going to stick it there. And we're going to loop it through all of these bands. And pull it through, get it on the hook. And again, we're just going to focus. Okay, and then again, we're just going to create a 
slip knot. Pull that through. And we are going to loop this through those two rubber bands, bring the other end up, and loop that as well. And then there you go, you have your completed basket weave bracelets. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please subscribe for more videos in the future. And comment down below for more tutorials. There will be more Rainbow Loom tutorials to come. Thank you guys. Bye.